Surah Waqiyah was revealed to the Prophet ﷺ in Makkah and this was revealed as some of the scholars said that it was revealed early on even before the Islam of Umar anhu. This surah is amazing because it talks about the three groups of people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will divide the people into on the day of judgment. There will be the sabiqur al-awwalun, then there will be the right, right hand people, people of the right hand and then people of the left hand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already re- decreed this and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already written this down in the Lawh al-Mahfuz. In this surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes how uh, the disbelievers disbelieve and they do not understand the reality of the day of judgment. As for the sabiqeen, Allah describes the Jannah that has been given to them which is Al-Firdaus Al-A'la. Then Allah Azzawajal moves on to Ashab al yameen the people on the right hand, what sort of life they will lead in how how the Jannah that they will have, which is the lower levels of Jannah. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala moves on to description of Ashab al-Shimal. And the Ashab al-Shimal are those people of the, of the left hand. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah, the generally merciful, the specifically merciful to the believers. Ida waqa'atil waqi'a. So waqi'a meaning that which has taken place. Al waqi'a meaning the one that is inevitable. So the inevitable event. Can you see how Allah has called the Day of Judgment inevitable? لَيْسَ لِوَقَعَتِهَا كَاذِبًا It's taking place, meaning it is not a lie. خَافِضَةُ الرَّافِعَةً Meaning this Day of Judgment will humble some of them, meaning it will lower some people. وَرَافِعَةً And will raise others. Who are, who are the ones who the Day of Judgment will, خفض, will, will humble? They are the rich people, those people who are wealth. In this dunya, the Day of Judgment will humble them. Those people uh, who this dunya is a prison for them will be high and mighty on the day whereas those people who this dunya was an enjoyment and luxury for them will be lowest on that day in the authentic hadith in Muslim Imam Ahmed the Prophet ﷺ said the rich people will be the lowest on the day of judgment except for those who donate in the cause of Allah إِذَا رُجَّتِ الْأَرْضُ رَجَّةِ meaning when will it take place? when the earth will shake with the tremendous shaking وَبُسَّتِ الْجِبَالُ بَسَّا and the mountains have been crushed with a single crushing. فَكَانَتْ هَبَاءً مُنْبَثَّةً So they have become like dust. And when the wind blows, it is, because, it is as if that the mountains have now scattered. This is how powerful the Day of Judgment will be. فَكَانَتْ هَبَاءً مُنْبَثَّةً So it has become like scattered dust. وَكُنْتُمْ أَزْوَاجًا ثَلَاثًا And you are three groups of people. فَأَصْحَابُ الْمَيْمَنَةً as for the people of the right hand, Ma Ashabul Maimana, what will tell you who the people of the right hand are? Wa Ashabul Mash'ama, and the people of the left hand, what will tell you who the people of the left hand are? Wa Asabiquna Sabiqun, meaning to be at forefront, meaning it's a competition. So they understand that this life is a competition in goodness, so that we can excel and win against each other. That today, we don't even understand that we are meant to compete with, for Jannah. Have you seen when we stand in a row, for example, for Salah, and there is a gap in the front? What do we do? My brother, you take it. No, no, brother, you take it. Which is madness. No. Oh, but this is impolite. What are you talking about impolite? Do not be foolish. In the acts of ibadah, you must be the first to do it. This is why Abu Bakr used to compete against Umar, and Umar would compete against Abu Bakr. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, if you knew how much reward there is in the first row, you would even put lots, meaning you would put your names into a pot to find out who would be the ones who gets to go in the first row today. Why is it that we don't compete? It's, it's probably because we don't believe enough. So we need to work on our belief about Jannah and belief in the Day of Judgment. They are the ones who are close to me, meaning they are the ones who have tried to come close to me, so I have, I have also come close to them. Fi Jannatin Naim in the highest of the gardens of paradise, which is the blessed Jannah of, of tremendous blessing. Thullatum min al awwalin a large number of people from the previous generation, and only a few people from the Ummah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But this is not authentic. Because the Prophet said in authentic hadith in Bukhari, would it would you, would it make you happy if one fourth of the people of Jannah was from you, meaning from Muslimin of the Ummah Muhammad 
And the Sahaba became happy, Ya Rasulullah, that would be brilliant. Then the Prophet said, would it be happy if you are half the people of Jannah? Then the Sahaba became even more happy. Then the Prophet said, no, rather I make dua to Allah that you are the vast majority of the people of Jannah. The second meaning of Thullatu Min Al Awwalin, a scholar said, is a large number of people from the previous generation, the generations of the Sahaba and the companions, their companions and their companions. وَقَلِيلٌ مِنَ الْآخِرِينَ And only a few from our generation. And this is the strongest opinion, which is true. Vast majority of the people, 1.5 billion Muslims who say, how many of them actually pray? How many, how many of them actually fast properly? How many of them actually fast Ramadan but will not pray? Ala sururin mawduna. They are going to go and into this beautiful Jannah in which there are surus, which means beds. But over here it, it refers to reclining couches. Ala sururin meaning lots of beds of light. Mawduna. Mawduna meaning beautifully prepared for them. Cushions and heavy brocade and light emanating all of it from it. Muttaki'een alayha mutaqabileen. Muttaki'een, meaning they're not lying down nor sitting up, they are reclining. Mutaqabileen, meaning they are facing each other. Yatufuna alayhim wildanu mukhalladun. Running around them, jumping over them, around them, beneath them are wildan, meaning children, eternally youth, youth that are running around with every type of beautiful drink and, and wine to, for them to drink. Bi akwabin with cups, wa abariq and with vessels, pouring vessels. Inside the vessels are wine and the most delectable delights. Wa kasin and with crystal cups, min ma'in from all beautiful, beautiful drinks that Allah has created for us. La yusadda'oon from that drink they are not going to get a headache. Wa la yunzifoon nor will they become drunk and drowsy. وَفَاكِهَةٍ On top of this beautiful drinks that they will drink, fruits, مِمَّا يَتَخَيِّرُونَ For whatever they wish, whatever they love. Meaning, the scholars of Tafsir said that when they're reclining on their couches and they look at a, a, a fruit tree that has beautiful fruit, the tree will bend and come forward. You don't have to move. وَفَاكِهَةٍ مِمَّا يَتَخَيَّرُونَ And uh, fruits, mimma from whatever, يَتَخَيَّرُونَ Whatever they love and whatever they wish. وَلَحْمِ طَيْرٍ Tayr meaning the meat of tayr, birds. Like for example, you might like chicken or you might like turkey. And the, the, the meat of birds from whatever they love. So Ibn Abbas said in the tafsir of this verse, when a believer looks at a bird and he wants to eat it, the bird will become barbecued in front of him straight away. Mimma yashtahun from whatever they wish. Wahurun'een and the women with the most lovely, beautiful black eyes. They're called Hur'in because as soon as you look at them, what will mesmerize you is their eyes. Like the example of Lu'lu, which is uh, pearls, maknoon meaning preserved pearls. So imagine pearls that are hidden within beautiful silk garments, so they're concealed beautiful pearls. Jaza'an bima kanu ya'malun As a reward for what they used to do La yasma'una fiha laghwa wa la ta'thima They will not hear therein any vain speech, wasted speech Wa la ta'thima Nor any sinful words, swearing words, harmful words Illa qilan salaman salama Except for the, the saying Peace be on you, peace be on you Enjoyment upon enjoyment Wa ashabul yameeni ma ashabul yameen and the people of the right hand, what will tell you about the people of the right hand? Fi sidrin makhdud. Now Allah is going to describe the right hand. They'll be in gardens with sidr. Sidr means cedar trees. Cedar trees are those very huge low trees. Wa talhim mamdud. Talh means fruits. Mamdud meaning laid on top of each other. Have you seen the bananas, how they come with the fruits all laid on top of each other? Yeah. In the same way, talhim mamdud refers to banana trees that are laid with fruits on top of each other. But doesn't just refer to banana trees, it refers to all other types of trees as well. But in specifically, the reference here is to banana trees. Well, dhilli mamdood, and dhil means shade. Mamdood meaning widespread shade. Shade from what? Shade from the light of the throne of Allah, not light from the sun. Wama in maskub, and water that is poured forth Plentifully, beautiful pure water that is plentifully flowing, springs that are flowing everywhere for them to drink from. 
وَفَاكِهَةٍ and fruits that are abundant la maqtu'atin wa la mamnu'a it will never ever finish after you eat it it will pop out again nor will it be ever seasonal meaning that it will it will start or finish at one time wa furushim marfu'a and furush beds for them to recline and to rest on not for sleeping by the way because there's no sleep in jannah is because it will be a waste of time to sleep no sleep in jannah you'll never get tired there are marfu'a that are raised up high inna ansha'na hunna verily we have created them insha'a with a beautiful insha with a new creation the wives of the people of jannah the spouses of the people of jannah faj'alna hunna abkara we made them into virgins uruban atraba urub means mature full breasted mature women meaning as the scholars mentioned in the tafsir of this verse the women will be at the age of 33 years old mature aged women of equal age li ashabil yameen for the people of the right hand thullatun min al awwalin a large number of people from the previous generations meaning the previous generation of the early generations of the sahaba wa thullatun min al akhirin and a large number of the people of the latter generations as well wa ashabu shimal now allah azza turns to the people of the left hand ashabu shimali ma ashabu shimal and the people of the left hand what will tell you about the people of the left hand fi samum wa hamim samum meaning in boiling water and boiling fire the fire as the authentic hadith in bukhari state that it was burning for 70 years until the fire became red then another 70 years until it became white and then another 70 years until the fire became black so columns of smoke that comes out from the fire no coolness will they ever have nor any gentleness or softness at all verily before this jahannam they were upon tremendous luxury meaning they used to hurry to do a tremendous sin al azim the great sins what's an example of great sins ikhwani disobeying parents for example very quickly or for example delaying on salah or for example today dealing in riba or for example riba how many sins do we hurry to fall into and they used to say if we were to die and we become dust and soil and sand and we become bones are we going to be brought back to this life again? Meaning they used to deny the day of judgment. Are we going to then be resurrected? Even the people, our forefathers from the past, meaning our fathers from the early generations, so they were amazed. Say to them in, in surety, in absoluteness, tell them, O Muhammad Wasallam. قُلْ إِنَّ الْأَوَّلِينَ وَالْآخِرِينَ Verily the first and the last one. لَمَجْمُعُونَ إِلَى مِيقَاتِ يَوْمٍ مَعْلُومٍ Of a surety, most definitely. مَجْمُعُونَ will be gathered together. إِلَى تُو مِيقَاتٍ To an appointed time. معلوم Well known appointed time. ثُمَّ Thereafter. إِنَّكُمْ O you all. أَيُّهَا الضَّالُّونَ Those who have become astray and far away. المكذبون, the liars. You will most definitely eat from the tree of Zakkum. is a tree that grows from the Aslil Jahim, from the bottom of hell. From it grows the fruits. This tree is called Zakkum. Its fruit resembles the heads of Shaitan. But they will eat it in hunger. That will fill up your stomachs and فَشَارِبُونَ عَلَيْهِ Then you will struggle to drink on top of this min al hamim from the boiling water fasharibuna so you will drink shurbal him you will drink like the drinking of thirsty camels they drink like they haven't had water before hada nuzuluhum yawm ad-din this is your dwelling on the day of deen of the day of accounting the day of resurrection the day of accounting nahnu khalaqnakum we are the ones who have created you then why is it that you do not believe? Now Allah moves on. Four things for us to ponder on. 
If we just pondered on these four things, we would find enough example for us to believe. What are those four things? Afara'aytum ma tum noon. Afara'aytum, meaning have you seen ma tum noon, that which comes out of your private parts, which you expel from your body and you consider it filthy? A'antum takhluqoonahu. Are you the one who creates from this? Or, or are we the one who creates human beings from this semen? نَحْنُ قَدَّرْنَا بَيْنَكُمُ الْمَوْتَ We are the ones who have spread and decreed death. وَمَا نَحْنُ بِمَسْبُقِينَ And we are not going to be preceded in this. Meaning we are the ones who give life and death. عَلَىٰ أَن نُبَدِّلَ أَمْثَالَكُمْ That we are most definitely able to change your creation. وَنُنْشِئَكُمْ And create you. فِي مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Into a creation that you are not aware of. What is Allah saying here? Can you see this human being Allah created from semen? Are you the one who gives it life or are we the, the one giver of life? And when death comes, are you the one who, who causes it to die or are we the one who has total control of death? And if we want it, can we not deform this human being into another creation? Absolutely. This is what Allah is talking about. And most definitely you have. Alimtum, you are most aware. And nash'at al the first creation. Meaning you can see your creation the first time that you're created. Uh, so why don't you ponder on the second creation, which is the resurrection, that Allah will recreate everything after we have passed away. Do you not see what you harvest? Meaning when you harvest, can you not ponder on the harvesting that you're doing? Are you the one who plants the trees? Are you the ones who planted and caused the tree to come out of the earth? Or are we the ones who plant? The farmers, all they can do is just to plant it. But who brings it out? It's Allah. لَوْ نَشَاء If we want it, لَجَعَلْنَاهُ We would have made it, meaning this, this tree, hutaman, meaning completely, meaning dry and yellow, and hutam, which is, which is ashes. فَظَلْتُمْ تَفَكَّهُونَ Then you would have put your hands in your head and said, Oh my God, what, would, what has happened? إِنَّا لَمُغْرَمُونَ If you were the farmers and you saw this would have happened, you would have said, Oh, we are destroyed. بَلْ نَحْنُ مَحْرُمُونَ Rather, we are the ones who are prevented from a full harvest. So Allah is quoting the farmers when they see that their harvest destroyed. Oh no, we're destroyed, our harvest is gone, it's completely destroyed. بَلْ نَحْنُ مَحْرُمُونَ Rather, we are the ones who are prevented from a full harvest. أَفَرَأَيْتُمُ الْمَاءَ الَّذِي تَشْرَبُونَ Have you seen the water that you drink? أَأَنْتُمْ أَنزَلْتُمُوهُ مِنَ الْمُزْنِ are you the ones who have brought it down from the heavens? Am nahnul munzilun, or are we the ones who have sent the water down from the from the skies? Ikhwani, today the meteorologists they cannot say with hundred percent certainty, even till today, where it will exactly rain. That's why they talk about probability of raining, because Allah says it is Allah the one who decrees it. Lau nasha, if we wanted, jalnahu ujaja, we would have made this water sour or salty or unpalatable. فَلَوْلَا تَشْكُرُونَ So why is it that you don't give me shukr? Why don't you thank me for the blessings I've given you? أَفَرَأَيْتُمُ النَّارَ الَّتِي تُورُونَ Have you seen the fire that you kindle, that you uh, start up? أَأَنْتُمْ Are you the ones who have caused its trees that give the fire to grow? أَمْ نَحْنُ الْمُنْشِئُونَ Or are we the ones who cause the trees that give fire to grow? نَحْنُ جَعَلْنَاهُ تَذْكِرَةً we are the ones who have made the trees as a reminder. Meaning a provision for those who are God-fearing. So for those who are travelers and God-fearing. So glorify the name of your Lord, the Great One, Allah the Great. Now Allah moves on to the last part of this surah and talks about the qasam, the swear Allah will take about how this Quran is so valuable. So what does Allah say? Fala, so nay, rather, uqusimu bima waqi' al nujum. I swear by the movement of the celestial bodies, the planets and the trajectories on which they move, I swear by the trajectories that they move on. And that's why Allah, Allah Azza says, wa innahu, and this promise, la qasamul is a swear, law ta'lamuna azim, if you only knew how great this swear is. إِنَّهُ لَقُرْآنٌ كَرِيمٌ Verily, this is nothing but a noble Qur'an. Noble in its message, 
noble in its recitation, noble in its meanings. It's noble in every single way. Whoever recites it becomes noble. Whoever does not recite it does not lose their nobility. Fi kitab maknoon in a uh, a book that is maknoon that is preserved. This Quran is within another book that is preserved. So Allah here is referring to Lawh al Mahfud by Kitab al Maknoon. La yamasuhu illa al Mutahharun. No one can touch the Lawh al Mahfud except for the Mutahharun, those who are pure. Who are the pure ones? The angels. Tanzilum min Rabbil Alameen. It is a book that is sent down. Meaning, if it's sent down, that means Allah must be up in the heavens. Tanzilun min Rabbil Alameen. From the Lord of mankind, all of creation. Is it with this hadith, with this Quran, mudhinun, meaning are you confused and are you doubtful? And you're expecting your provision to come to you, even though you continue to lie about this Quran. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the moment of death. Look at how powerful this verse is. فَلَوْلَا إِذَا بَلَغَتِ الْحُلْقُومِ So no, rather nay, when the soul has come out of the body and reached the throat. وَأَنْتُمْ حِينَ إِذِنْ تَنْظُرُونَ And at that point you are looking at the soul that is about to leave. Or some of the scholars said it refers to the person dying as his eyesight is still there. وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْكُمْ And we are closer to it. Minkum, then you, wala killa tubusirun. Who's nahnu here? The scholars of Islam of Tafsir said nahnu here refers to the angels. And our angels are closer to it than you, meaning than you, or family members of the deceased, or, or doctors who are trying to save this, this human being. We are closer to it than you, but wala killa tubusirun, but you cannot see my angels. And so the authentic hadith state that the angel of death comes and he comes to the head. And then he calls the soul out. If it is a, a soul of a believer, then the soul of a believer comes out just like a honey comes out from a honey udder. Nice flowing honey, soft and gentle. فَلَوْلَا إِن كُنْتُمْ غَيْرَ مَدِينِينَ فَلَوْلَا So if it is indeed true, إِن كُنْتُمْ That you are not غَيْرَ مدين, That you are not obliged to follow my religion. That you are not obliged to follow what I have told you in this Quran. Return the soul back into the body if you can. There's no way to return it back when your time has come. Now Allah says, so now if this soul was from the muqarrabin, those who are close to me, those who prayed a lot, those who fasted, those who struggled with the life and blood and sweat and tears for my cause. What a beautiful life, what a beautiful Dwelling, what a beautiful dress, what a beautiful food will he have? Wa Jannah to Naim and the blessed Jannah, which is waiting for him. So he ent enters into Jannah directly. Wa Amma in Kana min Ashabil Yamin, and if he was from the people of the right hand, Fa Salamul Laka min Ashabil Yamin. So the angels, as they are being taken up and then returned back to the grave to be questioned as it is going up and coming down. Peace to you, O people of the right hand. As for if he is from the mukaddibin, the liars, the dhalin, those who are misguided, totally misguided. Then straight away a dwelling of hamim, which is fire. He's talking about adab al-qabr. And he'll be taken on a path to Jahannam. Inna hadha lahu al yaqeen. Verily, this Quran is al haq is the truth, al yaqeen, absolute truth, more certain than your eyesight. Meaning, this will most definitely come true, brothers and sisters in Islam. This is not a joke. This is the truth of Allah Azza wa Jal. Fasabbih bismi rabbika al -azim. So glorify the name of your Lord, the Most High. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله